afternoon all. Just wanted to do a quick update on the Eleanor kit that I picked up uh, last week or two weeks ago. Uh, when I picked it up I was a little bit confused on what donor kit uh, to use. So the kit I'm going to use for the donor is this one, 66 Shelby. GT, this is a 124 scale kit, uh, which is what the Eleanor kit was. Um, funny enough, I bought this at Michael's. They had a 50% off coupon uh, last week, so I picked this up there uh, just to use as a donor. Funny enough, there are no instructions or decals inside this kit, so it worked out perfect. Um, engine wise, I think I'm probably going to use the engine out of this kit or uh, look for a resin engine uh, online uh, but I do want to go with something like a 427 or something along those lines um, so just to give you a quick quick mock-up here's the Eleanor body and here's the interior tub and chassis out of the GT350 kit. Uh, a second there guys, let this do we go. So you can see, even just right out of the box, it fits pretty good. So once you get in there and you know do a little bit of a uh, little bit of cleanup, like you have to do with most resin kits, but you can see there the fit, even just right out of the box, is really good. Uh, the only thing. This rear parcel shelf you'll need to extend a little so you, you can see it's not quite big enough because of the size of this window. So so I think that kit is a pretty good fit if anybody else has this uh, Eleanor kit. Um, so yeah guys I just wanted to uh, give a really uh, quick update on that. Uh, the other thing I might do with this is I may cut these door handles off. I mean they're they're pretty nice. If my camera would focus, but anyways they're pretty nice, but I may cut those off as well and uh, get some resin door handles or door handles out of another kit for that. Um I was gonna do a bench update today as well, but in all honesty I don't really have much of anything to do an update on um, by the end of the week or maybe next weekend I uh, may have an update on the JDM build um, I might have another update on the tools for their garage build and this week I'm also hoping to have an update on the Bismarck uh, maybe even this afternoon or this evening or tomorrow uh, right now I'm just painting the camo on the hull, um, but unfortunately everything now is all just taped up and I, you have no idea how the actual camo is going to come out until you remove all the tape. So uh, Because it's you're essentially working with five colors, um, it's quite a bit of masking and you know, you're almost kind of hope for the best, hoping everything is lined up properly and this sort of thing so undoubtedly I'm gonna have at the very least have some touch-ups to do I uh, just hope that it's just hoping that I don't have to start over from scratch again but uh, we shall see in the next uh, day or so I guess um, I'll probably have a stash update this week as well um, I have a package coming from HLJ uh, we had our local model show here yesterday, so I picked up 
I uh, bought three kits. There weren't there wasn't a whole lot at the swap table this year that really caught my eye. Um, I found one kit that I've been wanting for a while. Uh, the other two that I bought, they were just there. They were at reasonable price, so I went ahead and picked them up. And I won one kit in a random draw as well. And I won one third place, third place medal as well. So I'll show that on the stash update as soon as the package from HLJ, HLJ shows up. Um, this, this update, the uh, stash update will be mainly automotive actually. But anyways, guys, enough of my rambling. So, um, as always, guys, thanks for watching and hope you stay tuned for the next update.